Now, greetings everyone, and Grade here with another Company Rose 1 replay. Spawn on the top right side or top side as the Veramok player with Smoko. Spawn as the. And another other Veramok player, we have Bluot. Is that Bluot? That's Russian, right? For like, fuck. And on the bottom side as the US player, we have General Cheese and his teammate as the US player, Greenberry. Yep. Yeah. Let's see now. Looks like they are trying to organize MG bike. Uh, Volkswagen Deer sniper tier two. You want to tier two or tier three? I don't care. We do got these two engineers advancing. We do have these pioneers capturing up some points. Was wünschen Sie? What do you want? Yep, so just overall early capping game, nothing too crazy. Barracks, barracks, nobody going for early, or at least no US player going for sniper, MG to sniper. Let's see, maybe two snipers, blitz, I can uh, go defensive, tier two, okay. I wasn't really paying attention, hopefully you guys were. Make sure you guys take some good notes. Up here, the pioneers kept with the fuel point, munitions point. And we may see our first skirmish right around here, but they're still a little bit far away. Still no bullets fired yet. And this is a war game. Come on now. Bullets should be flying. We do have these engineers advancing. MG they make ready. it the drop on the MG42. No, the MG42 is setting it up. Us? And that should be a great angle. He does back away. Motorcycle, tank traps, lots of wire. So it looks like he's not really to advance through the sector. We got the engineers and pioneers about ready to get some engagements. He's cutting his wire. All of that hard work. Get away from our wire. And we do have the riflemen and motorcycle coming on forward. The engineers are getting quite wounded. This is a relatively good building for the engineers. Over here, we got engineers and pioneers engaging. I keep on getting the word, those words mixed up. Pretty much the same word, anyways. That is the MG42 suppressing the riflemen right here, getting some good damage there. But the riflemen are actually getting some good damage on the pioneers. Does force back the riflemen there. We do got the motorcycle in, being engaged by the jeep. There are some incomplete sand, uh, not sand traps, tank traps. And looks like the motorcycle is sitting a bit of fire. Both second motorcycle has pushed forward. Looks like he's getting double teamed. Yeah, times four wouldn't be half bad. Uh, what's so weird? Uh, no, I'm not going in arm ban. Not going for uh, one of those bazaars. We do have a MG42 engaging the motorcycles as the engineers are starting getting great flank there on the MG42. Over here we do have the MG42 and Schimpfwagen making full 180. Ready. Folks grand here going does forward away those forces. They got these forces here. Riflemen do hop inside this building. Let's see how or our engineers are. Nope, that's riflemen. Only two windows on the side, so it's not exactly a great garrison there, but it does hop out on the far side. We do have the Jeep knocking around these forces. Very nice. So the Volkswagen here will likely need to force back relatively soon. Yes, it does. Does does get some good body block there as well. Does take out that uh, tank trap as well. Over on the right side, we've got the Schimmwagen engaging the Flamer engineners. And engine damage there onto this Jeep. And the Schimmwagen should be able to finish off. Doesn't get any damage there on the MG42, but the Riflemen now are advancing. Repositioning the MG42 to engage the Riflemen. And looks like the Schimmwagen is going to be bowling around their uh, riflemen. Oh, on the right side, we got the Jeep coming in for a flank run, but there are Volks Grenadiers here and a landmine. Over here, we do got the uh, riflemen being engaged by a sniper. First kill there. And we've got the Schimmwagen and the Volks Grenadier now advancing. This munition point is cut off. This is a cutoff point for these two sectors. And the Volkswagen Deers are behind some heavy cover, and the riflemen are not fine to engage, or not effectively at least. Jeep here getting some damage there on the Schimmwagen, but Schimmwagen does have a bit more health. 
We've got the Excalate battle phase. So should be able to pull out the Krieg's Barrack. Pack guns are likely. Grandiers are likely. And Panzerfaust does come forward, annihilating that Jeep. Wolf's Grandier trying to push him forward. There's a rifleman in this garrison, and there is a landmine there. Has he gone for... Okay, no, there's engineers playing down landmines. Could have... I was thinking maybe one for infantry. NG-42 is trying to set on up. Ooh, that's the model got burned up a bit. Not a squad wipe, though. And second, uh, Volk's Grandier advancing. We do have these riflemen trying to go for a flank. Does he have grenades? I heard landmine detonation. Right there. And here comes the MP40 upgrade. I do like the MP40 upgrade. Oh, that's a full squad wipe. I do love the MP40 upgrade. It just seems like a really good upgrade to me. VP is not captured. Riflemen are still inside this garrison. And we do have these riflemen now advancing. We're losing a sector. Can you do a scout? No. Uh, let's see. Does US players have there is a sniper here. No kills. Now you've got a kill. We do got this right from in severely wounded. Schimbogen is re being repaired, and the MP and the MP40 Volk is severely wounded as well. Two Wehrmacht snipers. So we do have defensive there. Has he gone for Blitzkrieg? They were talking about Blitzkrieg. Wehrmacht snipers could get a kill there. U.S. sniper eyeing for a counter snipe. And he's not camouflaged at the moment. Now he is. Schimpfwagen advancing, does spot the sniper, does get in front of it so it won't be able to get some bullets off, and we've got a flamer here. He is going to get some more bursts off the sniper, and does take out the U.S. sniper there. Pioneers here! We are ready to go! But they spotted my position! One sniper down. The Schimpfwagen may go down, getting burned up quite a bit, literally. Folks, Grand Deer, getting some good damage on the Engineer. Could actually just stand and fight and force him back, but the Engineers fall back anyways. He's probably going to build a triage center for that one. Perhaps this one as well. The bull, all of his forces are quite wounded. Minesweepers, so they feel like there's going to be some more landmines. There's at least this one here. Not sure if there's any others. Nothing just yet. We have a lot of fire. Saying it's M8. Yes, there is. We lost the man. One of the Let's see. Who am I? Reserves holding Defense does have like the radio. Deployment location. Intercept, right? If I remember correctly. I always forget. But we do have the observation posts getting going down. Greyhound has the armored skirts and likely the 50... just got the 50 cal. And one Panzerfaust. MP40 Volks does go down to the US Sniper. Wehrmacht Sniper. Both... Nope, just... Yeah, both of them there. Getting a good hit there. Greyhound's falling on back. Right from coming for a flank. And could easily overrun the sector. A lot of stuff was wounded. Nothing here to hold ground. The mg 42 is facing the wrong direction. Oh, but he does get suppression there from something. Oh, this MG bunker. And looks like he does overrun. Gets the kill on the gunner. Forcing him back. There's a Wehrmacht landmine there. Left side. Capture up some points. Infantry assault teams can now be selected, so he has gone for Blitzkrieg. Let's see now. No doctrine selected yet. And you have infantry doctrine here, so the only person we don't know about doctrine is him. And based on the three uh, command points, likely he hasn't selected anything just yet. Oh, 
most grain deers has the same bit of damage there. Shimbog is still alive, so you still have to be careful of that with his snipers. U.S. sniper located Let's right here. Fear into. He doesn't actually have a, have a whole lot of squads left. Got the fish. Get down! Fire! Fire! Folks, grain deers. I have pretty good escort to the snipers. We may see some counter sniping. Greyhound has him void enough. Kinds of fouls have been fired. And Lucy's hitting the engineers there. Almost got some damage on the sniper. Not sure how Comby 1's handles scatter. Comby 2, the scatter could hit him. But I'm not sure about Comby uh, 1. We do have the engineers or pioneers falling on back. A little bit quiet at the moment. Ready to get this done. Could throw a shot there on the on the pioneers, but the he's fully repaired, so no per point to that. Though now he can get one shot there as the fire is distracted to help stop the capture. Perhaps hold fire until one of the models go down by the riflemen. Guess he didn't get wasn't lucky with that. Ah, uh, greyhounds right there. I see something right here. Oh, engineers. Minesweepers do, of course, respond to the sniper. Enemy unit down. Oh, enemy unit down. Probably an engineer or pioneer. To all units, light vehicles may now advance and capture territory. Taking so it looks fire, like we do have sniper, armor and infantry sniper, versus Blitzkrieg fire. and defense. Yeah, the sniper does get reviewed warning. there. Allied war machine is at 100%. So now he can have, bring in allied war machine to bring in some extra units or vehicles once he starts losing them. Look alive, people! We got crowd infantry! Sniper here! We do got some good hits there onto the Volksgrand Deer. Good uh, Panzerfaust. Sniper! Stug, not Stu, is being deployed on out. We do have the Greyhound in AT gun here. We do have Shimwagen trying to hunt down the sniper. See, the sniper's right there, so he's pretty far away. Vermark sniper here. MG42 engaging. And that was a good hit there by the Stug. And that's a Stu. So Stug and Stu are on the field. Snipers are pretty close. Hellcat does receive a hit there. Hellcat almost got the crush there on the sniper. Goes for the counter snipe. Nope. Good hit there. Gains suppression across the line. Flamer squad does go down. The sniper receives a pretty good hit there by the Stu. Allied war machine has been deployed. Main gun destroyed. If he holds fire. He killed himself. Enemy no, that was a shoe. Never mind. He didn't kill himself. Greyhound does receive a good hit there. And that's just only unit the field. So you use Allied War Machine with only one vehicle deployed. And one vehicle redeployed. We have a secured sector under attack. Anti tank gun receiving quite a bit of hits there. Hellcat rushing forward, down. takes out that sniper with his own sniper. The vet one sniper is severely wounded now. This sniper has been revealed, trying for a shot. Gets out of raise, though he can perhaps put a shot there in the MG42. AT gun gets a nice bounce there. Rearmor hit. And out of control is Stug. There's a landmine there. Pantsfiles does connect on the Greyhound. And Flamer Squad rushing on forward. Hellcat needs to avoid this Panzer Shrek. And Volksgrandir may be eyeing for a Panzerfaust as well, but he does not get the Panzerfaust off. AT guns pushing the way forward. We do have a armor car. That's a Shimvog on the Enemy map. Enemy unit down. There's a Shimvog on the map, and there's no more armored car. Rifle, on me. 
Yeah. Allies should be able to keep that sector secured. We have the rifle inside this garrison, but can't make it to a 4 HQ at this point secured. Not like the US players ever get a 4 HQ. There goes that Shimwagen. Shu still at full health. And Fresh Stug has been deployed. Wehrmacht landmine has been found right there. Another one right here. I'll take a look at it once this replay is done. This replay is pretty good so far, though it's pretty focused on this side of the map, which makes it pretty easy to cast. Volks Grandiers and regular Grandiers with Knights nice Cross Holders are charging forward, but you got a stealth Hellcat here. Stu and Stug advancing once again, but now there's two Hellcats. Looks like the Knights Cross Holders are charging on in, trying to get that sniper. Rifleman should be able to dissuade them. Hellcat does receive a hit there by the Stu, but not a whole lot of damage. And does fall back from the Knights Cross Holders. Stug is quite wounded, so he's forced to fall back. Enemy unit down. AT gun advancing. Nothing much left there. MG42. Oh! Hellcats are charging on in. Hellcat. Oh, finds that landmine. That really good landmine. Bet two vehicles. Enemy unit down. This uh, unit does go down. Flacky is has been spotted. The good old fashioned way. And with this engine still damaged, one passive house won't get the kill. Maybe trying to go for a crush there. Passive house is lining shot. Yep, definitely not enough. Even another one probably won't be enough. Entry 4-2 and, and the bunker are still in this area, so this area is very well secure. Pioneers capture this flank. Quite a bit of wire as well. Perhaps deploy more wire and perhaps maybe a line of tank traps. Go full, I'll go all in for the uh, structures of a single pioneer. Pioneers are quite cheap, so you can probably spend one to do that. AT gun does get a hit there on the bunker. It will take quite a bit of time to displace. Coming here too is much easier. Oh, I think I have two howitzers engaging it. We do got the Blitzkrieg assault, or is it for the Fatherland? Let's see. I'm trying to find that. Not sure. I was going to do, but I think that's actually for the Fatherland. My bad. Oh, that's by Goliath. That's a Goliath. He's going straight for the AT gun. Hellcat gets a direct down. hit though. Should perhaps not be as greedy and went for the rifleman. Ooh, finds a landmine there. We're at 200 there. points. M342 engaging. Vermox Sniper, 25 kills, so that one's the one that's been around for quite a bit of time. And he, I think he just got the bar research. I don't think that he had bars a minute ago. We do have the engineers trying to, or pioneers trying to rip out this bunker. It's very, very low health. And the sniper is Vec 2, sneaking on forward when it gets Vec 3, comes very mobile while camouflage. And riflemen are being engaged by Knights Cross Holders. The Knights Cross Holders are only Vectors 1, and Bars do have the Suppressive Fire ability, which it does use to win the fight. Looks like Howitzer are raining on in. Don't see Pioneer Corpses, so I think he avoid the uh, barrage with them. Flame of Squad advancing, gaining some good damage there onto this Volks Grandier, while the other engineer does garrison inside the building. Probably just deny the Volks Grandier the garrison. Sniper's still alive. Begin armor right there. Operations. Has a point of Calliope. Is it Calliope or Calliope? I never know. Okay, take it far. Take it far here. Sniper. Hey, 
Hellcat getting some uh, bounces. Two Stugs, no Stugs on the field. And Kalios coming in for Brawn. Kalios, of course, down. relatively effective versus the uh, vehicles. Getting some good softening up there. But the Hellcat is almost down. Stug needs to get... No, he does not get the kill off. Nor any Panzerfaust on to the Hellcat either. Nice crossholders do not take out the riflemen. It's a good hit there around the grenadiers. Nice crossholders. Looks like he has Vec 2 infantry. Taking the shot. Sniper is running away. Now, now retreating away, sprinting away. And more M2 barrages into the sector. Looks like we got three Stugs. Veteran sees two still. Is this one from a different player? Nope, that's from the same player. With both M2s and Calliopes, I don't think it will be able to pull out any more Flak 88s. We do have this M2 Howitzer spotted. Panzerfaust firing. They're relatively durable, so he would need a lot of Panzerfaust, even Panzer Truck shots to take it out. But I think that damage action card came from his Hellcat. He does do some knock around, preventing him from going. I almost got some crushes, honestly. Could send those engineer to help repair up this guy. They're going to need to bring in. Uh, I see one wonderful blitz Craig, the other one went for defensive, so you can bring in some uh, 280 or 28 centimeter rocket barrages. Then in the World War II, during the Brit, the uh, Germans used centimeters rather than millimeters. Same thing, really, just times 10. But just sort of weird way to measure stuff, like 8.8 .8 centimeter uh, flat guns, things that sort. Eh, yeah, I like to cast them a bit both. I cast. I do a lot of Dawn of War 2, a lot of Company Wars 2, Dawn of War, Company Wars 1, Relic 3. I enjoy them all. We do have the next cross order. They're behind heavy cover, so he can stay in, sustain quite a bit of a beating there. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Thank you, Mechlas. Thank you for the follow. Capture at the point. Stogs are pushing the way forward. Quite a bit of pressure there. It looks like this MG42 is doing a good job. But two snipers have been deployed on out. We're down He's to 100 to points. He's the MG42? Yep, he will claim the MG42 for his own. Never hurts to have an extra MG42. Though people never get out 30 cals. Rarely ever do. Pioneers. All right. It almost looks like they're trying to lay... Yeah, they did lay down... Or laying down landmine. Uh... Landmine. This guy's quite wounded. This guy's quite wounded. And he gets a squad wipe. Not sure if that was intended to be a squad wipe. But that was a great squad Enemy wipe. Unit Bet three Stugs. That's... Now receives two pens there. Being repaired by the bunker. Forces are taking casualties. Allied War Machine, of course, has been activated. Hellcat does get the kill there. These two strokes now advancing. Both Allied War Machine, he can lose it. It is halfway still left. No, oh, half of the duration still left. Now a quarter. Maybe hold fire. Hold fire. And it goes down. Wait. No! It, he didn't get the free one. It was out of control. <laughs> Never Warfers are deployed on out. We got a Tiger Tank. Vet 3 Tiger Tank. That's going to be deadly. No, he does not fire. I think it's going to hit the landmine with the shot killing them all in one hit. Never Warfer does get overran. Time to get out Enemy unit down. Over here, Tiger Tank receives some Hellcat fire. And there is uh, his teammate's landmine there. Engineer Sporos getting overwhelmed by nice crossfitters. 
The level repair are is now available. He does have a hundred and almost 150 munitions, which can either save it by either for allied war machines or field repairs. So pick and choose. Not both. Balance the landmine there and a good hit there by the Hellcat. We're losing ground out there. Stug, Stug, and Nebel Warfare. Seeing if either of them are any of them with flak guns. Good hits there on these nice cross holders. You may be eyeing to hit that low health one. Enemy unit. It does down. get the wipe there on that knight's cross holder. Stug receives a couple uh, bounces and misses, but all of them do a bit of chip damage. That's a casualty recovery bunker. There's the repair bunker. A lot of carcasses here. Maybe Pioneer should go out and try salvaging them, though they're a bit far forward. Now it's not crushed yet. It's not still not crushed. Tiger tank is receiving anti-tank gunfire. Greyhound looks like spotting for him. Receives a bounce. Wait. Okay, that's a bit dangerous, but he's trying to get some good damage there. He is actually in range, but he can receive him a bit of a beating. Damage engine there. And he's still goes with tier two. I have a I rocket anything in a quarter CP. This park is still alive, can still be salvaged, but though it could be a shot a shot blocker, like I said. And this tiger tank is being thrown away. Oh, it's fully immobilized. You can see there by the red tracks. Main gun destroyed. Don't go for a sticky bomb. It has no gun. It has no tracks. Let your AT gun just take it out eventually. Tiger tank still alive. And that his teammates landmine there. Knights cross holders advancing. The two riflemen are getting overran. Tiger tank is still alive. I'm so having selected. They're on to me. Sniper taking fire. Sniper killed in action. Does kill the sniper. Very nice. Asking for a asking his teammates to go for Panthers rather than 88s. I don't think we've seen another 88 recently. Let's see. Let's go to him. Let's see if he's going to go for 88s or Panthers. Let's see. He does have Panther Command. Tiger Tank's still alive. Will he actually save that Tiger Tank? It's... No, he won't. No, he should not. Okay, it goes down. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just have to scream yellow loud enough to scream. Like Dora the Explorer. Without any cues. Unless the Calliope saying, Yes, please die for me. Main gun destroyed on the Stug. And he will manage to escape on out of it. Allied War Machine. Pass wasted right there. We've got two Warfermen and a Nebelwarfer. Okay, the Stug may go down. Its gun has been repaired, but does receive a bounce there. That. The Hellcat does go down. He's trying to get the kill here. And he does not get the kill there. Flak idiot has been deployed. Which did save a Stug. But likely of it being barrage is significantly high. AT gun could be killed. Vet 3 Knights Cross holders. Here comes Kalio Barrage. That may take out that low health Stug. No, he's out of uh, our, uh, the scatter range. Snipers or pioneers hitting the snipers. Not that getting hit by snipers. Ready. Nice cross holders advancing, trying to hit these uh, AT guns. Gets a good hit there with the flak 88. Flak 88s are just deadly versus these these AT guns. Orders. Did it just get machine gunned? I think it actually got machine gunned by this MG42. Let's cross forward. Does go down. Rocket barrage running on in. Try to hit these uh, Calliopes. Gets the kill on the uh, on the uh, Hellcat. And here comes the Warfarman barrage. Getting some good damage in as well. Sounds like fresh squad of Knights cross holders. He does should have enough resources. Perhaps to get a Panther out soon. Needs quite a bit more manpower though.
Does he have any vehicle veterancy? He probably has. No light vehicle veterancy, actually. Calliope now raining on in. Knight's Cross here. Knight's Cross holder severely wounded. The unit has died with glory. I'm not sure what down. Uh, seeing how he has a uh, oh, the Flak 8 went was decrewed. The VPs are quite in favor of the Axis players. The allies do have the cap in the center. Rocket barrage running on somewhere. Oh, here comes a sh motorcycle going for a heavy scout run. Heavy scout run? No. Drive like crazy scout run trying to get uh, target one of these M2s. He, it does cool down pretty quickly, but doesn't will not have enough munitions for a long time. Though, if they lose track of him, he could s keep it in the back and perhaps go forward to hit another M2. There's two other M2s out on the field. And Crocodile has been deployed. I'm not a huge fan of Crocodiles. It feels like regular Sherman tanks, Sher Sherman tanks of 75mm, are a bit more effective versus infantry, honestly. That's just my opinion, though. I just feel like Crocodiles, both Churchill and Sherman, don't feel like they do enough flame damage. He is salvaging some wrecks there. Very, very nice. Nice cross holders are advancing. And thanks to this really, really Rocket wide angle, he's able to get a lot of forward, uh, for the Fatherland defensive buffs. He does find the Crocodile. When the co models do get burned up a bit. Uh, Warfman Barrage raining on in. It almost looks like there's a mortar hit there. I don't know why it seemed like that. Try and go for a sticky bomb. Hellcat advancing. And it looks like the AT gun does roll. A lot of stuff missing the motorcycle. Charging gun in. He does not have enough munitions for another rocket barrage. And to be fair, it's 24 ammo. No, seriously, why is this motorcycle not getting hit? <laughs> oh, that's really gets the rocket barrage off, and now it goes down. Okay, that's really stupid. It only took 15 shots. The 14 those were shots of whiskey. Because he had to be that drunk in order to drive through all of that. Because he saw that erratic driving, definitely drunk. Over here we do have the Rangers. Looks like they're... Don't think they're upgrade of Thompson's. Yeah, they're not upgrade of Thompson's. So if he wants an AP vehicle, best to keep them unupgraded. You see a lot of damage there from that his front teammates call The enemy is seizing our territory. A nice cross holders there. He decides to fall back, but he does actually spot for the off-map how to shoot. We are losing territory. Thirty counter deployed, and maybe from off-map combat group, right? Uh, let's see. That's the... Yep, that's the... Uh, infantry player. So that's likely from off-map combat group. Looks like 30 cal does go down. And we do have the cal uh, crocodile advancing. And the size cross holders, two of them are severely wounded. Holy crap. Uh, Hellcats charging four on the Stugs. But there is a flak 88. One Stug does go down. Flak 88s are rolling some misses there. Still no veterancy on the on the Flak 88s. There's two Flak 88s deployed on out. That Hellcat does go down. This one is at full health. And actually this one did not go, did not go down to the off-map power shoot. They actually had a little bit of health left remaining. But ooh, I think he received some friendly fire right there. Yeah, he's receiving quite a bit of friendly fire from the uh, M2s. Or the M2. I think the there's still only one out on the field. 
Karka, Crocodile advancing. Hellcats are falling back. Maybe use global repairs for some extra repairs. Try repair in combat. Not exactly a great idea. Warfam and Barrage now ringing on it. Double kill with the Warfam men. Wait, how many Warfam men says that? One, two, three, four. Is that really a double kill, or is that was two single kills? One vehicle, one vehicle. Yep, not a double kill, just two Attention. guys getting a single kill. The enemy has 50 points left. Blue has a whole bunch of nice cross holders and a Volks Grandier. Nothing really much else. And a Pioneer. And M2 does take out the Warfam in there. Let's Creek Assault being utilized. Tiger Tank trying to charge him forward, trying to get this kill in this Hellcat. Americans are seizing territory from us. Ready. Rifleman getting some hits there on the next cross holder. Hellcats charging on four, so it's gonna be three Hellcats. The other one's probably rotating on O back. Base is taking fire. Does get out of control on that one. This one still actually that came that came from the uh uh infantry commander off map combat group I believe. And since he already lost two vehicles since he used the uh Allied war machine, this one won't be replaced. We are losing ground. Doing good work with their turret rotation, avoiding the fire. And that should fire. fire. Destroyed engine, and that's going to be dead. The Hellcat. There goes the Hellcat there. Rifleman's here. Does get a sticky bomb off. I think that was a repair engineer, not a pioneer. And fully immobilized. So M2s and Caliops. Here comes the Caliops. And there goes the Tiger Tank. That sticky bomb definitely got the kill there. Being fully immobilized, make it easy pickings. Repair bunker will likely go down. Stugs are security. There goes that repair bunker, and there goes the Hellcat. This Hellcat is still trying to finally come back home, but it looks like it's going to reverse move again. Maybe he's just trying to destroy some of these structures. I think he's just trying to go for a base race. Or. Annihilation, not to be a race. The Yankees are attacking one of our OP. M2 oh, getting some good hits on the next cross holder. That will likely go down to the crocodile. The Yankees are grabbing our territory. It's way, way too low health to stay alive. They are attacking secure territory of the fatherland. Way too low health to stay alive. We have lost okay, there it goes. Go, go, go. Next the cross holders will receive some more fire. Literally. And here comes a Warframe Barrage. Let's get at least one model. That's overkill. That's a lot of overkill. Two men Rifleman squad pushing way forward. What if you've got to reinforce it? We do got a Panther. No veterans yet. We'll find these unguarded Calliopes. Hellcat here. Mayor send us good shot there. Yes, he does. And does get a rear armor hit there on the Calio. Bounce again. And here comes the crocodile advancing. The bolt here may go down. M2 Calio trying to stop the capture. The allies don't have a lot of tickets left, so they have to fight tooth and nail for these VPs. Remaining neutral is fine. Letting them get captured is not fine. Hellcat does go down. Panther, Veteran C1. And is fully immobilized. He's getting lucky with those fully immobilized crits. AT gun is... Two AT guns are firing away. Crocodile advancing. Rifleman are trying to capture that point. This point was not captured. There's actually a double capture for the allies. Stu's trying to get some good damage there. 
Oh, that's a uh, Stug now, Stu. Stug's severely wounded, advancing, trying to deal with this crocodile. We'll receive two sticky bombs there. Engine destroyed, so he can limp away. And Panther does go down. Tiger tank is... I think there was a full squad right there on that rifling squad. And the MG42 is right here in case he wants to re-secure it. He does actually re-secure it. How much health does the gun have? Not a whole lot. Main gun destroyed. Bounce and miss. It's sort of hard to tell the range. The range is quite good, but looks like he's out of vision range. No, he should still have vision range. Looks maybe out of weapons range. Gunner gets killed by the MG. Crocodile not fully repaired. Hellcat does send a bounce. Stu is here, but will accomplish all too much. We have 200 points. M2 does not get the kill there. Hellcat gets a bounce. And does go down there. While the Stu does get a nice hit there. And the M2 could put some damn good friendly fire da uh, damage. Yep, this one was submitted to me by by a person, but never said uh, he was part of the game, or he said this was a good game to cast. Didn't say if he was one of the players. Crocodile advancing. And Stu severely wounded. Rolls a miss there. Stu does send out a shot, but I'm not sure if it did any damage. And there's a pair of landmines there. Does get some damage there. Receives a miss. Try and go flank a shot. Does receive a bounce there. And the Stu actually may win. The Stu should not win. Rocket Barrage. Both of them miss. Let's try and get a shot off. This is such a stupid fight. Main gun destroyed. Run. Throw a sticky bomb up there. Fight its ankles. Sticky bomb going for the rear armor. Global repairs. And he does get the kill there of the stew. Does retreat back. Destroyed engine does not get the kill there. Pioneers, stop repairing and start shooting. Ugh, that was such a stupid fight. Crocodile, Veteran C2. We do got the Blitzkrieg Assault. Tiger Tank running away. Run away from the Pershing. Pershing's unvetted. Pershing does send a bounce. Getting some good hits there. But getting bounces as well. Both of them rolled a miss. Sure, with Blitzkrieg advance, you do get some good benefits, but Attention. The enemy it's still advances. a much more health, and the uh, AT gun does get a good hit there as well. Rolls and miss there. Damage engine. Bounce. Tier the 30 cal. Looks like another off map combat group. Okay, it looks like the angle is bad, but it's just pointing his gun up. Trying to show dominance, and the Tiger Tank does go down. Okay, he did win that uh, duel, just not the first one. Nice cross portal being reinforced. Medics trying to cover casualties, trying to get some Grenadiers. Doesn't have any Grenadiers yet. Lots of nice cross holders here. Does get this one fully reinforced. This one could stay in. He's starting to collapse on in and overrun the Rifleman. Could potentially get a wipe on that Vet 3 Rifleman. No, he does not. We got the crocodile being pushed on forward, getting good hit there, and multiple kills there. Maybe I'm a bit wrong with the crocodile. It feels like whenever, maybe the campaign crocodile just sucks compared to the actual multiplayer one. I don't play Computers One multiplayer. Probably, I may do a bit of Computers Two live, uh, uh, two streaming, playing actual some multiplayer matches, but. I don't do any company with one uh, uh, online. 
Knights cross here. Oh, quite hostility there. Victory I mean, they're not like they're shooting at each other. A lot of good hits there onto that crocodile. Vet 3 crocodile does go down. Did he get that replaced? No, he was too late with that. I don't see any reinforcements off the map. So he did not get a refreshed crocodile. Rolls a bounce there. Pershing. You're losing a sector. Wait, didn't the person get the kill on the tiger tank? Must have been the AT gun actually got the kill. Good hit there on the engineers. Hellcat trying to uh, come for a flank. Here we got a massive wolf from Embrage falling underneath this uh, Pershing. Get some great hits there on the engineers. Hellcat getting a flank there, but going a little bit too far. And M2 gets a good hit there on his own, on his teammates. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Hellcat. Greyhound advancing with the sport, the Hellcat. Stu engaging, getting good rearmor hits there. Mango destroyed on this Hellcat. It does go down to the Stu as well. That Stu has three kills. Why does the Stu have three kills? That Stu has four kills. Four vehicle kills. Why does that Stu have four vehicle kills? Don't tell me. Is that going to be number five? Is that to become a tank ace? Or a vehicle ace? I suppose it's just a light vehicle, not a tank. Though, Hellcats are technically self-propelled guns, not tanks either. None of the Knights cross holder. War from Embrage. Guess correctly. Ooh, squad wipe. Two squad wipe. Oh no, there's not a squad wipe there. So one squad wipe. Almost got the kill actually on the AET gun. So there was two squad wipes. I should have just owned it. Oh well. Not a stew. <laughs> Calliope running on in, trying to hit these stormtroopers. Have you seen any M2s? recently. This is M2, relatively fresh. I think the one here got destroyed by a rocket barrage. I think a rocket barrage was just utilized. The Yankees are Tiger tank does territory. find this cash. Registered artillery being used up here? Yeah. No, that's his guys. Oh, registered artillery on the Command point and does get the capture. I just realized something. The Axis players have 15 tickets left, and the Allies are down to the last 22. I was not paying attention to the ticket game all whatsoever. The enemy is so it's now a mad dive for tickets for the rest of this game. With this triple capture, it's going to be very in favor of the Axis players. Damage engine. He does get some uh, brief interrupt there. Both this and this point was decaptured. Both these are severely wounded. Knight's Cross Holder looks like this point will not be captured by the Allies. They defend the fatherland until death. He does capture this point here, so it's a neutral capture at the moment. But... No, that's from the, uh... Infantry, that's from the Infantry Commander player, not from the Armor. The Armor, if that was under Armor, he'd capture that up with the Armor... With the Armor capture. Light Vehicle capture. Stu, before Vehicle Kills, does go down. This one has zero. What a noob. Sorry. And now I got the Knights Cross Orders advancing. This point is being decaptured by the Stormtroopers. That is a capture in favor of the Axis players. A single capture. They just need to hold out for a handful of tickets. Nothing's threatening this point here, and nothing's threatening this point here. I think that's game. Unit lost. I defended the fatherland until death. We do have more artillery raining on in and does cast the GG. That was a great game. A very, very good game. It's Angry Zane. Thank you for watching and signing off.